Just after 11 a.m. local time, people in Kyiv heard two loud bangs as Ukrainian defense systems shot down Russian missiles. Fragments of the missile landing captured on security camera, narrowly missing someone on their mid-morning walk. It followed an attack in the early hours of Monday. When what is thought to be an artillery shell hit this residential apartment in the north of the capital. Maxim carries what little he has left from the building. I woke up. Actually, my mom woke me up. There was smoke and dust everywhere. We hid in the closet. We thought that we were being captured, that the Russians were getting in through the door. Police take pictures of the rubble. Others look on. Rescue efforts, as you can see, are still going on. The civil brigades here, the police, the fire service, are still looking through the building, trying to see if there's anybody else trapped inside trying to see if there are any more bodies inside. But the overwhelming sense is that this is a civilian building. There is, there is nothing more that you can say about that. Look at it, it's a residential block, an apartment block. One resident had very strong words for the Russian president. It is a city. He is just a jerk, a total jerk. I've got nothing else to say. You see, I've got no words to describe it. There's more fighting on the front lines of Bucha and Erpin between Russian and Ukrainian forces. But the war coming into Kyiv, although expected, is unnerving for many here. Ukrainians wonder whether this is a one-off or a sign of what's to come in the battle for the capital. And Imran joins us now live from Kyiv. Imran, first bring us up to speed with what's been happening in and around the Ukrainian capital. Well, right now it's uh, just after 8 p.m. local time, and I'm just going to get out of the way of the camera and show you the curfew has begun. It's going to be another very nervous night uh, for the residents of the capital, Kiev, particularly uh, because of that uh, apartment block that was uh, shelled by artillery in the early hours of Monday morning. Uh, a lot of the residents now are very worried that that a may have been an opening salvo in the uh, war for control of the capital, Kyiv, or uh, a lot of what military analysts are suggesting is that it may have been a way to keep pressure on the Ukrainians, even as the talks uh, were going on. Mm. Whatever the reason for it, it definitely means that the people that are left in this town, and there's 50 percent uh, of people left in this town, 50 percent of evacuated, and we are seeing more and more evacuations continue. But they're not coming from um, the, key, the capital, Kyiv itself. They're coming from places like Bucha and Erpin, uh, places that are front lines where the Russians and the Ukrainians are fighting hard with each other. Uh, those people are coming here and then they're getting out via the central sta uh, train station. Mm. So although uh, the curfew is on, it's going to be a very nervous night right. uh, for a lot of the people left uh, in the city. Despite the tension, Imran, and the fighting, uh, the two sides, as you say, are still talking, it seems. Do we know what they're talking about and whether any progress has been made? Well, there's been a real change in the type of language that we've been hearing in the last 24 hours before the talks began. Both sides were saying, uh, yes, we are talking, there are things we are talking about, and we and the Russians actually said, uh, we're looking forward to releasing a joint statement. Those talks began on Monday, uh, and they came to an end with very little progress being made. In fact, uh, one of uh, the people who's involved in talks, he's the presidential advisor and uh, chief negotiator negotiator, if you will, actually said, uh, and he's the chief Ukrainian negotiator, he actually said, although Russia realizes the nonsense of its aggressive actions, it still has a delusion that 19 days of violence against uh, Ukrainian peaceful cities is the right strategy. Uh, he's also uh, said that it's something that the communication is being held, yet it's hard. So the language has changed over the last 24 hours. There was a time 
tiny bit of optimism uh, the day before the talks. So on the day of the talks, both sides have retreated back to their positions. Ukraine very much defined, and the Russians very much saying uh, that they'll continue their operation. Uh, now, the talks, mm. this is the fourth round. The th last three rounds of talks have concentrated on humanitarian corridors, uh, on getting aid into besieged areas. There was a hope that they were going to talk about something other than that. It looks like that hasn't happened. Both sides have walked away from the talks, and this joint statement that the Russians said that would come today never came. Imran, thank you for that update. Imran Khan, live for us there in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv.